guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I made kind of a dummy move. I meant to film last night and I didn't and I left my camera on and my battery is dead and I didn't even charge my backup battery. So now I got two dead camera batteries. <sighs> uh, so I am filming on my phone. So if anything seems a little off or a little bit different, that's the reason. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I have my premium boxy charm and I'm so excited. It actually got here pretty fast and yeah, I cannot wait to dive in. So the box is being difficult. It will not stay up. All right. So as always, we have the card, which tells us everything that is inside and the prices. And we will come back to that in just a few. So to start, the first item I see is from Serum Kind. This is a hand serum, black blossom hand serum. Due to its elegant and mysterious color, the black tulip from the Netherlands is a symbol of absolute beauty, royalty, and nobility. The black tulip is enriched with astra astragalin i don't even know what that word is a bioactive natural flavonoid that protects from external stimuli and smooths out the delicate skin of your hands okay as a result multiple extraction stages the black tulip provides long lasting moisturizing effects as well as fortifying effects for healthier softer and youthful looking hands all day your hands deserve the best treatment Anyways, so I'm actually really excited for this. At my job, I do have to submerge my, submerge my hands um, constantly in water. And not just water, but like bleach water as well, soapy water, all of it, you name it. And my hands stay so dry. Sometimes there's so much bleach where my hands feel like they're just the life has been sucked out of them. So I'm actually really excited to try this. This is what the box looks like. And let's see what it smells like. That's what I want to know. Okay, so this is the little package right here. Um, nothing fancy, but I am so interested in how this is going to smell. So it does have like this little push pin on the top of it. We're going to just pop that. <laughs> Pop it, pop it, oh my God, oops. Okay, I popped and it is just popping on out. I don't know why I expected it to be a different color because it said black tulip. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be fun color, but it's not, it's just like a cream. And I don't smell any, I really don't smell anything. What the heck? My hands are super dry. I don't like this type of top because it does have like these sharp ridges around it. And uh, I have to be careful or I could cut my fingers on that. So that's not really great. Okay, it's got a light, I mean, a very, very, very faint scent to it. I don't really, I can't put my hand on what it smells like. Um, hmm. I mean, it's definitely soft not greasy which is good i don't like greasy feeling like lotions and stuff on my hands i can't stand it um hmm. i like it okay that's that's actually right up my alley and uh yeah i'll definitely continue to use that okay so moving on the next item we have is from Bite Beauty. I haven't got anything from Bite Beauty in a long time. This is the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. Okay, in the shade Midnight Rye. I wonder if this is color that I can use for like fall. I'm already ready for fall and I know it just, just turned summer. So this is the tube. I like that it has like that rubbery finish to it so it's not gonna like jump out of my hands. I'm assuming that the bottom part, if you can see that, is the shade color. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, that is a dark. I'm all, I, since I just put lotion right here, I'm just going to mark it on my arm. Oh, yeah. It's like a brown plummy color. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It has like a hint of purple with brown. 
That's really pretty. That's gonna be great for the fall. I'm so excited about that. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, what else do we got in here? Because this is good. The next item we have is called R Rodeal Dragon's Blood Eye Mask. How freaking, I don't know if that's like cool or weird. Dragon's Blood Eye Mask. I'm thinking, I mean, I love eye masks, so this is definitely up my alley. It's deep puffing biocellulose eye masks. That is so cool. Okay. I don't know why I'm obsessed with the name. I just, I don't know. I think it's different. It's different. I love that. And let's see what the packaging looks like. How many do I get? I get three. All right. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think we might have to do like a little mini tutorial of these on Instagram or Maybe I can go live soon and we can test these out. So I don't know, guys. I'm super, super excited. I wonder what they like look like on the inside. Um, if they're well, like little dragon wings, that would be cool, right? But yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with this and uh, let's keep it moving. The next item we have is from La Russe. This These are vegan, cruelty-free, and hyperallergenic. I'm pretty sure that these are brushes. Um, I've actually received this brand of brushes before and I really enjoy them. They're very, very, very good quality brushes. And yes, so these are the three brushes that came in it. I'm more of a of an eye brush kind of gal. I, I tend to use more eye brushes than I do face brushes. I have plenty of face brushes. So uh, this one is a Kabuki brush. This one is a highlighter. And it says this one is a small angle. Now, I really don't really use angle brushes, so I'm definitely going to give that away. As far as highlight goes, mm, I would probably use this more for blush than I would highlight. But we'll see. And then a kabuki brush, which I would use for like a blush or contour. So... I don't know. I'm going to go through my collection and see what I have. I might just put these in my future, in my giveaway uh, that I have coming up. So we'll see. But either way, I'm still happy to receive brushes because either they're good, I love them, they're right up my alley, or they're still good and I get to give them to somebody else who can use them more than I can. Moving on. The next item we have is from Too Faced. Yes, this is one of the choices. I don't remember the shade that I chose. So this is their matte eyeshadow, um, 24 hour crease proof, waterproof, long wear liquid matte eyeshadow. This is Teramisumi. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's super, super cute. I like it. And, oh wow, okay. That's the shade. That is an interesting shade. It's like, gr I don't, not grungy purple, but just like a, I don't know how to describe it, you guys. I'm, I'm, I don't know, but that is really, really pretty. Hmm. I'm going to take this brush that I have. I'm just going to clean it off real fast on like a, one of these color switch, uh, things. And we're going to blend this out and see exactly how this works. Oh, okay. That's actually blends out really good, you guys. I've never really used like a liquid matte eyeshadow. I'm more of an eyeshadow palette person, but look at that blend. Like I'm, this is not my favorite brush, but I just wanted to grab something to kind of like mush it around and see what it does. And it, it, it's not patchy at all. It looks really pretty. And I could see myself definitely using this. So yeah. I am very happy with that. All right, we should have one more thing, and we do. I see it. This is, you guys, 
This is from House Laboratory. This is Lady Gaga's uh, makeup line. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is the Glam Room number one eyeshadow palette. I think I might have tried one thing from her collection because it was sent to me. Uh, that came in one of my boxes. Uh, but I haven't tried anything else. And I think that was what, like a lot a lip gloss? Something like that. I'd have to find whatever it was. But this packaging, oh my gosh. It's so like sleek and just, oh, oh. It has the names of the shadows on the back. I really like that. I like the fact that it has, I don't know if you can tell, it kind of pops up in the middle to a point, but not so much that it's going to be like annoying to put in my collection with my other palettes. Like it's still very, very slim and sleek, but it has like a style to the top. Does that make any sense? I really like this packaging. It's very just, I don't know, luxurious. It makes me feel fancy. Let's open this up. Oh, those colors are pretty. I like the fact that she gives you a very full size mirror on the top. I love that. And then these are the shade colors. Look how pretty those are. Like, obviously, it's not like a crazy out of this world palette. It's a very wearable palette. And, um, I know when I when I think of Lady Gaga, I think of like crazy out of this world makeup and hair and costumes. Um, but at the same time, for makeup, <laughs> your everyday average person is not going to be doing that on their face, especially if they go out on a date and things like that, that they wear something a little bit more neutral or smoky or something like a soft glam or even colorful glam. They don't necessarily wear what Lady Gaga wears in her photo shoots and on the red carpets and stuff. So I get it. That was kind of a long rant. I didn't mean to do that. But anyways, you get what I'm trying to say. I get that it's a very, very wearable palette. So let's do some swatches. One little minor thing that does kind of annoy me. I don't know if you can tell. Looking straight into the palette, some of the shades are like a little crooked in the palette. Um, that's just kind of mainly my like my OCD playing, uh, playing its fiddle. But other than that, yeah. So, ooh, it's like a dark purple. That would be really pretty to pair with the Too Faced shadow that we have. Um, and the light purple, that's pretty. Oh, those are so pretty. Um, let's test the black shade. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is so dark. And let's test. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to do like two more. So I'm going to use my thumb. And my thumb doesn't get the best swatches, just so you guys know. Let's do this like this brownie color. <sighs> Love it. And I really want to do, this almost looks like a little bit of a duochrome shade. Now it's coming off on my thumb as a topper. So let's do swatches. Oh, that's so pretty. That's pretty. Ooh, that black shade swatched very well. And yeah, that's like more of a topper. I don't know if you can even see it, but look at those shades. They actually swatched very, very well. This one's a little chunky. Which one was that? The first one? Um, but you can smooth it out. Yeah, so I'm... I cannot wait to play in this palette, you guys. Like, I really want to just wipe what I have on off and just play because these look really, really pretty. Okay, so the uh, House Laboratories Glam Room Palette is $34. That's actually a really decent price. Um, the Too Faced Melted Matte Eyeshadow is $21. Um, the Bite Beauty Lipstick or Lip Crayon is $26. The Serum Kind Hand Serum is $27. The On The Go Brush Set, $96. $96, three brushes. Mm, I don't think so, okay? The most expensive brushes that I really have are from Sigma, and those are extremely good quality. 
more so than these. They have a, a warranty on them. And I think the, the most I've spent on that one is like maybe $16, $20 at the most. Three brushes would not equal up to $96. So I would never pay that. I'm very, very picky about my brushes. And I only order from Sigma when I feel like splurging. But other than that, I usually stick with like my BH Cosmetics. Wet n Wild brushes are some of my favorites. Um, Morphe, every so often, I'm not really not a fan of Morphe brushes. Um, sometimes they can get like pokey or anything else that I have is like Wet n Wild. Did I ever see that? But yeah, like I love my ColourPop brushes. Um, so I would never spend $96 on three brushes. That's just ridiculous. Uh, and the eye mask trio for $18. So that total comes up to $222. Now, um, I think I got a really good box this month. I think there are a lot of really good products in here that I'm super excited about. I know sometimes I throw most of my stuff in like giveaways, but with this box, it feels like I'm going to be keeping most of it because I'm so excited for what I got. So yeah, I'm really, really liking this box. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Um, I have more unboxings coming your way. I want to do a couple tutorials. I definitely have planned a will I buy it or was it buy it or pass? I definitely have a buy it or pass it video that I'm kind of putting together. Uh, I'm going through Trend Moods page and kind of seeing what's coming out. I have some things that I'm kind of excited for and I want to share with you guys. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.